Greetings and salutations. This is Emperor Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. Uh, we're going to be having a look at today at Celtic chariots, warriors of antiquity, uh, from Vitrix. 28 millimeter hard plastic figures. Um, you get overall three chariots and 20 figures. And here's a combination of different types of chariot you can get on the back. You can get uh, Boudica on the back of a chariot, which is quite cool. You get a mad druid on the back of a chariot, mm. or different types of infantry on the back of a chariot. That's an officer. He has a sash, and it's an officer, and that guy there. So, I'll have a quick look at this is what it looks like assembled. Now, this one is just a regular chariot. So, I've only painted it blank. So, I haven't painted any pretty pictures on it because I'm going to have the officers um, with really distinctive chariots so they stand out more yeah um, so this is just a normal chariot owned by a charioteer um, so it's got no no airs and graces to it it's just a standard chariot which um, which empire was it that used the spikes on the wheels they, they used it for people who have really big shields and if they couldn't get through the it, Persians. they just side them and just slice them off so they could charge them into them and get, take them down. Uh, the Persians used uh, scythe chariots. I think in Romans for some reason. No. I'm pretty sure they never did that. No, they never did that. Uh, you might have injured someone in the arena and that would have, oh, been, yeah. that would have been an offence. You'd have been arrested. Um, no, um, technically an uh, attempt to murder. It is attempt to murder, <laughs> yes. Uh, Although charioteers apparently did loosen wheels deliberately so they would have epic crashes and stuff, so it would look <laughs> awesome. Um, the same as having spring-mounted armour, so it would look like their armour exploded when they were hit and all that sort of stuff. But um, That would be pretty cool to be fair. They did, would look really cool, yeah. Uh, the Circus Maximus, it was called. And it predates the, uh, the big amphitheatre in, in Rome, the Colosseum. Colosseum? No. Yeah, Colosseum. Is it yeah. Colosseum? Yeah. Colosseum. It predates the Colosseum by about 300, 200 years, Circus Maximus. Uh, Colosseum was built by Vespasian. I take it like the, the idea of a Colosseum is up. I guess, did Celts go? You should think about it, right? Yeah. They do battles about famous battles they did. Yes, they reenacted. Yeah. So, things. like, if the re Greeks are doing it, it would be Phenopoli. And yes. Yeah, stuff. Did they actually too. get like people who they paid like yes, people yes, who they were get... So like, did actually pay these people yes. to play? Yes. And that would be their their, their, their version of TV, like the Olympic Games. Yes. Yeah. They would be it actually would be television. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you go in and watch a show. But you had and to go, would go on all TV, day. Yeah. yeah. It was all day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, mostly weekends. It was uh, one of the emperors. Uh, is it Caligula or Nero uh, created the idea of the weekend? Um, so that way, everyone would be off work and they could all go to the shows. Because the shows are free, they're funded by the state. But people selling, I was going to say selling hot dogs, but that would be a sausage and sausages were legally yeah. wrong. Um, they would sell, I don't know, buns and bread and cake. No, no, bread was free. Um, they would sell cake. Weapons. <laughs> Weapons. Yeah. Apples to throw at the people. Do you want a, a Celtic battle axe? <laughs> Is it legal? Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> what kind of sausage? <gasps> Everybody! Petalian! Petalian! <laughs> this man's got a sausage! Put the sausage down! Step away from the sausage! Yeah, Romans are mad. Mad, absolutely mad. Um, so anyway, oh, I just realised I've, I've accidentally smudged some miss. paint on the, the horse. <laughs> it took ages getting that colour right. For the horses, uh, yeah. ruined it. Uh, these are Brit um, I'm doing British. Um, all these particular figures are for the Britain, uh, the Boudicca Revolt. Um, so they're not Gauls. So they're not in Gaul colours. Um, hence the guy's blue. If you look, he's half blue. Um, and the British English horses or British horses at the time were this a lot of fawns, fawns and bays. So uh, this, this he's got two fawns. Um, and I'm going to do the other chariots with fawns, bays, mixture, um, white horses for officers. And and also the officers would decorate their reins and this bit here and this bit here in all sorts of designs and stuff. So, uh, but this guy is just a, is just a standard chariot here. So he's, he's not bad off. He can afford a chariot. So he's probably got a big roundhouse with at least three sheep. <laughs> 
So, you know, well off guy. And he's also got severed heads because that's. The, the ancient Britons were disgustingly horrible. Yeah, uh-huh. that's why I don't exist anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, right, so these this is the actual figure sprue. We have Officer with Sash. Um, we have a guy in armour. Uh, this is very reminiscent of Republican Roman armour, mm. the Celtic British armour. Um, also, the Germans used a similar type of armour, but not many. Only the Katai Kat, 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 used... Um, uh, chainmail armour. I think the rest of the Germans didn't actually have armour unless they nicked it off a Roman. I have no something about people's armies. You know when people build a huge like Roman army? Yeah. And they would use Warlord. They'll use Victrix. They'll use Grip and Beast to add some cool like Dark Age things with them. Yeah. And they never use one company. No. To do an army. No. Because that one company might only have a certain different styles. But the other company has all the other cool stuff to add into that army. And like Victrix always has the expressions I it's, it has a lot more modifications yeah um, the heads so the heads are going to be upside down for you guys sorry about that you get four um, minutes brew but you get how many heads <laughs> you get a huge amount of heads um and the heads are absolutely great very expressiony um so anyway uh back to armor um that's the lamla la, lamna how do you pronounce lamla Lam, the, lamna yeah lamna um, used by Greeks and everybody in the ancient world. It was decent armor, it's leather armor, and it was actually cured leather. It was actually quite tough. Uh, would would turn uh, would stop you from being cut by a slash. Um, um, what about a javelin? Uh, javelin would um, uh, a Celtic javelin would not go through. Oh, what about peeler? A peeler would go through <laughs> because if if you have armored troops, you put um, um, weights on the peeler. Which made the pilum heavier, so it would go straight through armor. So yeah, could not they just like wield the pilas of weapons? Yes, they did. They would use them as spears if they were against cavalry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but only against cavalry. Um, that they, they would keep a pilum back if the enemy had cavalry in the field, and then they would use it as a spear. So but, I mean, the cavalry's not going to charge something that's pointy. Yes, horses don't like spiky things. Yeah, hence why the square was invented. Oh uh, yes, yes. And as we found out not long back, um, a, the Russian uh, Russian regiment got made into grenadiers because they discovered how to form a square. Yeah. So, so they're given a special hat and everything and little badges. And, well, don't surviving. Yeah. Which did lead me to question their officer's ability to <laughs> march his troops in the middle of the French army. <laughs> um, so that, that that's the uh, guys. Lots and lots of options for arms and stuff because it's Vitrix. Um, Vit- that's what Vitrix are going to do. They're awesome. Um... Right, also, uh, I'll just mention um, this guy, he, he's got the male coat on him, and that's because he's a lower ranking Celtic lord, so he's just got chain mail. Um, someone a bit higher up would have, obviously, the sash, um, or something like this with chain mail underneath it, or fish scale armour. So he's got cheap, the cheapest armour you can get, which yeah. is Romanesque, uh, early Roman Republican type armour. Right. Um, oh, we got to. That's how to build it. Well, none. That's on the the top thing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so this actually doesn't have anything on it. Uh, it just has pictures on the back saying you can do this too. <laughs> uh, so now down to the sprues. Now this is where it gets interesting. I've actually found this quite not hard to put together, but tedious. If you uh, because the reins go oh, differently gosh. and everything. There's two sets of reins. One for this guy here. I have one in the other room, but I haven't finished building it. Um, this guy is actually standing on this bit here, uh, which is what Julius Caesar wrote about. Uh, the Celts would stand on the actual bar of the what's that called? Axle. Yeah, because it's like it's, it, I think that's the thing that connects the. Yeah, so the they'd actually stand on the axle of the chariot. Um, so I did put the guy together. But I decided, just for simplicity's sake, because we were doing a video about it, that I'd, I'd just do that one because it was easier. Um, so they're the two different reins. Uh, then you get two horses, and you get these guys. So you get... Boudicca. They're too tall. Why? They're so tall. They're Vitrix. Wow, they really are tall, tall figures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's Boudicca, and that is a wizard. A wizard. Um, a druid, yeah, yeah. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. Why not it be the uh, father? 
Like Boudicca. Look like him. He was dead by then, wasn't he? Yeah, but... Way dead. And he'd be a husband, What, what happens if you're doing that beforehand? Um... Was Boudicca actually doing much... Of, sorry, were the SCNI actually doing much fighting other than... No, I mean, because the father was doing peace talks with his Yes. And um, then Boudicca and her husband negotiated with um, Claudius um, to join the Roman Empire as a client state. Um, it's all complicated. Um, so here you are. These the guys, sides. these different sides. Um, just pick whatever one you want. There's no real difference. Um, I would say that's less British. Um, that's more Gaul. That design. I've never really seen any British chariots with that particular oval. Um, but anyway, lots of different things you can do with them. And it's quite good. And you can see the stuff that you can do on the back. And we'll have a look at these guys. This is Boudicca. Um, you can put it together any way you particularly like. It's entirely up to you. Um, this particular Boudicca is, has a nice spear because she's a woman. And Celtic women would use spears because that way things happen on the other end of the spear. Um, and she has um, a severed head. Um, she's usually depicted as being topless. Um, I don't think that would be a healthy way of going into battle, but the Germans did, so, mm. you know, and the Celtic men certainly went in with nothing on whatsoever, <laughs> no, not even underpants. Uh, uh, so it's quite likely she did actually fight topless, even, but... Even the Zulus wore stuff. Not, well, yeah, they wore underpants, basically. Yeah, but they didn't. No. No, <laughs> the Celts were total barbarians. You really were. The Zulus are far more advanced than the Celts. I mean, yeah, they had like a proper leader and everything. Oh, yeah. Like, fully yeah. running, like everything running perfectly. And stuff. Um, but I am downplaying the Celts now. Um, so well, you no, can't blame the Celts who got invaded 24-7. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, well, the reason that um, the Romans went to war with, with, with Britain was because the British were kept funding rebellions in Gaul. <laughs> Because it, it made money because the Gauls kept having to buy Celtic weapons from the Britons. Bro! <laughs> because we had, we had the best swords, the best uh, equipment and stuff. The best we can mend. The best, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the best we can mend, put, put people in. <laughs> and yeah, um, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, this is Boudicca. Um, I, I would guess in real life Boudicca would have won armour. Yes. High ranking officer, queen in fact. Um, Big target. <laughs> yeah, and she fought on the back of a chariot. On occasion so I would assume she'd be right up there in front of the Romans and she wouldn't last three seconds um, with without body armor um, just guessing just guessing just throwing that out there so she could have chainmail on under, underneath there so that's Boudica that's quite cool and now we get to the pièce de résistance of this box and that's the awesome druid uh, this is a druid Druids are awesome. I like druids. I know you do. Yeah. Um, the Britons actually were religious fundamentalists. No, were they? <laughs> really were. Yeah. We're massively into religion. Uh, all run from Inis Mon, which was a, a druid island off the coast of um, Cornwall. No, coast of, of Wales. Uh, and the, during the Boudicca Revolt, the reason Suetonius' troops weren't in England was because they were attacking Inismon and burning it to the ground and slaughtering all the civilians, <laughs> uh, killing all the druids, destroying the druid religion. Um, so you wonder why the Celts revolted. I suppose God has a game about that, because I've heard about this, that, that exact thing before. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so they, uh, the druids were the backbone of British society at the time, and it was all to do with religion. Um, I actually kind of, in a way, approve of the, the Druid religion because if you wanted to send a message to a god in Rome, you would go to a priest and give them some cash and the priest would mention the message in their prayers, right? In England, if you wanted to send a message to God, you told the priest, then garroted him through him in a river. Because then the priest would go straight to heaven and tell the god for you. So yeah. a much more civilised version of religion. <laughs> <laughs> not good, not very healthy being a priest. Was no. It? <laughs> so if it was something really important, the head druid would be called for, and it'd be sort of ah, yeah. oh, yes. <laughs> You're really sure you want to send this message? Um, but yeah, they, they they were real horrible people. To be honest, the, the druids were disgusting, um, and their religion was completely insane. Um, yeah, mad. 
Is that it? Yeah. That's everything on the So suppose. that's that. Um, well, I just kind of figured it would be better to show you the actual figure. As we assemble. always do, because you can never really tell what it's going to look well, like. Well, with some I'm stuff it doesn't it. matter, but with this, it's a, it, it's very hard to see what you're really talking about. And this actually, you can actually see how it's assembled and everything. And you can also see that I inadvertently put a lump of black paint on the horse. And I had to mix this horse colour. So I'm going to have to mix the horse colour again for <laughs> one tiny bit of the horse, which is going to be rather annoying. But yeah, that's it. Um, incidentally, the shield is a transfer, and it's from the Warlord Celts. Um, it isn't Warlord the only company that does transfers? No, um, um, Vitrix do, but I didn't have any. Ah. I didn't have any, so I, I just stuck the Warlord one on and just painted the rest of the shield out. Um, because I can't bother to wait. Yeah. Because I'm really lazy. Right, so that's it. That's everything. I, I just love these guys, and I would completely recommend them. Um, incidentally, um, you may notice with the druid, he has a severed head, two severed heads. Well, this is probably a Roman, or German, or whatever. Or whatever. Uh, Roman legion, uh, auxiliary, whatever. This guy is actually a Celt. Um, because that they did that sort of thing. They would kill their own troops. Um, to, to, to appease gods and stuff like That's that nice. sort of spirit of the warrior and mm. stuff they really were barbarians yeah so if you enjoyed the video please do like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the chariots yeah that's everything from me everything from him goodbye see ya